the Mojave itself, the town has been around for a long time. Like there are mines out in the desert and they would put borax, say, in a, on a bunch of mule train. They drag it into Mojave, load it on the trains. But World War II, they built this base for the Marines and they would train fighter squadrons and stuff here. And then they'd ship them out to, you know, where Guadalcanal or wherever for, for the war. And really nothing happened here until 70s, 80s, this guy named Dan Savinovich showed up. And then another guy showed up, a guy named Burt Rutan, very famous in the aerospace community. Yeah. He started at the border um, and he started working north looking for a place that he could afford to do flight tests and do cool airplane stuff. But it just so happens there's huge runways here and it's always, you know, sunny and far enough away from civilization that everybody leaves you alone. Yeah. So you can do weird stuff with airplanes and nobody bugs you. And then his brother came out of Vietnam and jokingly to keep him out of his hair, they sketched out this thing called the Voyager that was an around the world airplane. 1986, right? Yeah. Top Gun and Voyager. Yeah. Dick down the ramp with a bunch of volunteers, they built the Voyager while Bert was running his company called Rutan Aircraft Factory. They kind of broke off this thing called Scaled. So they built, you know, roughly an airplane a year, if not more. Which is um, crazy, right? I mean, nobody else. Super does crazy. It, it's yeah. just not done. Around about 2000, 2000 to 2003 ish, right, um, we started working on Spaceship One, and that was my baby. And also, we started working on the Global Flyer for Richard Branson. That was a around the world airplane the second time. This one was a single pilot, Steve Fawcett. And so, Spaceship was being done for Paul Allen. Um, Bert kind of dreamed it up. And then, as soon as he had the idea, he said, Hey, Paul, once you fund this, we're going to go yeah. to space. And so, Paul jumped in, and at some point, after that, we did Strata Launch, yeah. the world's biggest airplane yeah. down around the corner. And a lot of what you see here is just because Bert Rutan, you know, found this place 